We're here in some of the stores at Beamish and remarkably, unlike most museums who have great big stores and you get things out and you put them on display and then you put them back in the store. At Beamish, the stores are just that. They're, they're stores of objects ready to go into permanent buildings and exhibitions on the Beamish site. So effectively, this area has been acting as the region's attic for the last 40 years. The stuff comes in here, is cleaned and catalogued and sorted out, and then it goes out again into the permanent display. So we're the, we're the reverse of most museums. We have everything out on display and a bit in stores ready for the next bit. The book section that we have in the, the museum uh, comprises about 50,000 books. Here I've got what I understand to be as our oldest book. Uh, it's bound in vellum, it's deerskin. I'll open the book inside and see at the bottom the wonderful date, 1581. But the real gem is when you actually open it up inside. It's a fantastic gardening encyclopedia. All the original writing was in Latin. But at some point, we assume in the 1790s, someone went through and in beautiful, clear handwriting, added their English text. The great thing about Beamish when it started in the 1970s was that a grandparent could come around Beamish with their grandchild and say, this is how we used to live. And these collections, some of them much more recent now, up to the 50s or even the 1980s, means that in the future Beamish can keep doing that and be the bridge and the education between a grandparent and a grandchild. And if we've achieved that, we've done what we set out to do.